Good morning, welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some partly to mostly clear cloudy conditions out there this morning. Seeing a little bit of uptick in the cloud cover around 12,000 feet in the last half an hour or so, so seeing a little bit more cloud cover than we saw this morning, although temperatures have already warmed up into the lower to mid 80s here at Wallops. Going to see those temperatures continue to rise slowly through the morning hours. Should see temperatures in the mid to possibly upper 80s for highs today before we see more of a sea breeze for the afternoon hours, temperatures cooling into the lower to mid 80s. Going to see a chance of thunderstorms today after 1600 local or 4 o'clock. A slight chance that was something were to pop up around 2 o'clock, but most likely uh, will be after uh, 4 o'clock with the best chances coming in after 2100 local or 9 p.m. this evening. So taking a look at our sounding from this morning, we have freezing level at 12,800 feet. Winds out of the southwest throughout the column this morning at around 25 to 30 knots, 1,000 to 3,000 feet then uh, backing down to around 25 knots at 6,000 feet from 32 knots at 3,000 feet then seeing increase once again seeing our peak winds this morning in the mid levels between 9 and 12,000 feet around 35 knots and winds decreasing after that at 16 to 25,000 feet right around 25 to 15 knots taking a look at our current surface analysis we have an area of high pressure that's off the coast and a Bermuda high pattern continuing to give us warm and humid conditions uh, some hot days across the region as well I see a decaying area of convection and showers move over the mountains this afternoon that will redevelop showers and thunderstorms moving towards our region for this afternoon in the evening hours and most likely will occur during the late evening hours into the early overnight hours tonight we'll have a cold front cross the region tomorrow afternoon excuse me, tomorrow evening, and that'll give us an additional chance of showers and thunderstorms for Saturday evening. So taking a look at our satellite imagery this morning, we apologize for the loading here, but uh, we'll just skip right to the radar. You can see we have some uh, showers across uh, western portions of Maryland, the Panhandle, as well as West Virginia. Some showers and embedded thunderstorms across the outer banks of Carolinas this morning. Going to continue to see uh, dry conditions this morning, but we'll have showers and thunderstorms most likely developing around south and central Virginia for this afternoon and along the Appalachian Mountains that's going to be moving towards our region for this evening. And here's our satellite imagery finally loaded. You see that uh, cloud cover around 12,000 feet moving into the region, and that's going to provide us with uh, some mostly cloudy conditions. For late morning into the early afternoon hours before we see more uh, sunshine filtering through. So taking a look at our current temperatures across the Delmarva Peninsula, you can see anywhere from the low 80s, 82 at Wallops, up to 84 at Salisbury, 84 at Georgetown, seeing 81 at Seaford this morning. So low to mid 80s across the peninsula already. Seeing winds slightly gusty, up to 18 knots out of the southwest this morning. So going to continue to see those winds. Uh, slightly gusty for late morning and the afternoon hours, possibly seeing a wind advisory for this afternoon. So the European model for the next few days, here's our weather for today. You can see showers and thunderstorms developing mainly in central and southern Virginia and then trying to move into our region for this evening. You can see Chesapeake Bay with those cooler water temperatures is continuing to keep these storms at bay from moving over and towards our region as uh, the westerly flow is not all that strong as well as these storms are more in pulse in nature and not in a uh, convec in a um, complex or a line scenario so they should be slow to progress towards the region and that uh, will allow us to see the best chance of showers and thunderstorms and move into the late evening into the overnight hours uh, with a possibility to a likely chances of those showers and thunderstorms so moving to Saturday, you're going to see uh, the possibility of late day showers and thunderstorms um, moving in the region as a cold front crosses. Saturday will be a warm to hot day across the region, upper 80s to lower 90s, uh, dew points in the mid to upper 60s, so it will be humid. So he is probably in the mid, expect, expected in the mid 90s. And then for Sunday, we'll see much nicer conditions. Canadian high pressure builds in from the north, giving us less humid conditions. 
temperatures in the upper 70s and that weather will continue through most of next week with Monday providing us high pressure and control very nice weather fairly light winds just onshore sea breeze winds for the afternoon hours out of the south to southeast and we'll see continued temperatures in the highs in the upper 70s morning lows on Sunday Monday and Tuesday should be in the lower to mid 60s possibly some upper 50s across the peninsula so very nice conditions continuing and then into middle of next week we'll see that area high pressure shifting off the coast slightly but we'll still see that air mass not moderating all that much with temperatures continuing to be in the upper 70s for highs right along the coast and then finally for Thursday of next week looks like our next chance of possibly seeing some rain showers across the region as a area of a frontal boundary or cold front moves towards the region giving us that possibility. So looking at our risk chart for today we'll have southwesterly winds gusting up at 22 knots this afternoon a high around 86 degrees We'll see those winds turn more south-southwesterly to southerly for the afternoon hours into the late afternoon, and that should cool our temperatures down in the upper 70s. We'll see chances of thunderstorms at 20% after 1,600 local, increasing to 60% after 2,100 local, and then back down 20% after Saturday to local and continuing to Saturday for local. So our best chance, as I've highlighted here, the showers and thunderstorms will be this evening into the early overnight hours. We'll see a low of 70 degrees, westerly winds at 5 to 10 knots tomorrow morning. And with that, rainfall expected across the region could be seeing some low clouds or patchy fog tomorrow morning. So for our 24 hour terminal forecast, we'll see VFR conditions expected the next 24 hours unless we have those showers and thunderstorms overhead. And as I mentioned, the best chance of that occurring will be after 9 o'clock this evening. By tomorrow morning, We'll see anywhere from partly to mostly cloudy skies with a good amount of cirrus cloudiness across the region. Chance that we do have that low level cloud in here, but that should burn off fairly quickly after 8 local tomorrow morning. Our tides are slightly above normal, and looking at the weekend, we'll have partly to mostly sunny skies, hot, humid conditions with a chance of evening showers and thunderstorms on Saturday, a high of 89 degrees. We'll see our precipitation chances and lightning chances around 20 to 30 percent. Saturday night, a chance of an evening shower, thunderstorm, and mostly clear and less humid, a low of 64 degrees. Again, 20 to 30 percent chance of that shower, thunderstorm, and for Sunday, mostly cloudy to partly cloudy, less humid, and pleasant. I should say mostly sunny, and a high of 78 degrees. Sunday looks like a really nice day to wrap up the weekend. And then for the next seven days, we'll see that 60% chance of thunderstorms tonight, 30% on Saturday, warm conditions on Friday and Saturday to hot on Sunday, and then, excuse me, on Saturday hot, and then on Sunday we'll see temperatures continuing as high as in the upper to mid 80s from Sunday through Thursday of next week, a really nice stretch of weather in store with anywhere from partly to mostly sunny skies for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday, we see an uptick of cloudiness across the region as that frontal boundary approaches. Just uh, being this far out, timing of that frontal boundary is still in question, but putting a 20% chance of a shower moving in the region Thursday evening. And you can see the overnight lows for Sunday night into Monday and Monday night into Tuesday in the upper 50s of Wild. So those inland locations across the peninsula we should see in the mid 50s. So really nice weather in store for early next week. That's going to complete our 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. I hope everybody has a great weekend. We'll be back on Monday morning at 8.15 and at 10 a.m.